Turning a corner, a peak now into the future in the Bay Area in the year 2020. A surprising number of smart people say the revolution that we're seeing in computers today is going to turn into a revolution soon in biotechnology. The implications for your health are nothing short of stunning. As New Center Force Anthony Moore reports, it could extend your life for decades beyond what we thought. <laughs> doctor's office 2020 superficially it may look the same but the language of health will be dramatically different so doctor i put on my diagnostic suit on my way to work and it told me my heart's got a blockage yes it linked me the data this morning i recommend we do triple bypass this afternoon but take it easy at home tonight have you considered cloning a new heart not yet my gene scan shows i should grow new kidneys first hmm, i see how old are you now 85 and is that a wrinkle there When's the last time we topped up your telomerase? I'm not sure. Well, let me scan. Science fiction? Yes. But experts point out, when doctors learned their trade in theaters like this 100 years ago, the average human lifespan was just 47 years. Now it's 76, and researchers are beginning to unlock the secrets of aging that could help keep you productive until age 100 or beyond. Looks like soup. UCSF's Elizabeth Blackburn is one of the pioneers. She was studying a microscopic pond organism when she discovered what could be the fountain of youth. It's called telomerase, an enzyme doctors could harness to stop the wear and tear of aging by 2020. I think there's a lot of ways that people could look younger and function younger. Dr. Blackburn discovered that just as the plastic tips on shoestrings keep them from fraying, telomerase keeps the tips of our chromosomes from deteriorating. And since chromosomes regulate cell regeneration, by adding telomerase, doctors could make your skin young again or strengthen your immune system. By removing it, they could stop cancer cells before they multiply out of control. And free a disease, you might live as long as the human body allows. It looks like we're programmed to at least live to well over 100. Now, how much more than that, we don't know. Is it a question of there's a program in our genes that just programs us to, you know, sort of sputter out after we're 130, 140 or something? We don't know that. Or is it just that there's a cumulative wear and tear? So maybe we could take care of some of the wear and tear. Now, I think we're gonna be Aging expert Ken Dykewald believes we're on the verge of a research breakthrough he calls a bioquake. You'll have 80, 90, 130 year old people who look fit, act great, their brains are alert and smart, and they're conducting themselves as 50 or 60 year olds might today. Today's experiments that clone Dolly the sheep will lead to human organ cloning. So here we have an incubator which we use to control the temperature and the gas composition that we keep our bioreactors in. And at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, researchers have coaxed cells to form tiny circles of beating heart tissue, which could rejuvenate aging hearts. People very often talk about replacing whole organs, but maybe the, what we need in many cases is just a little piece of tissue that will help the body to do the rest. You'll have major surgery and put a band-aid over the hole. This is the precursor to actually surgical simulation. Already, researchers are creating medical flight simulators, which could permit surgeons to do a dry run on a virtual you. Imagine you take an MRI scan, and then you have the models of the organs of that person, and you can do surgical planning the previous day on those organs and then actually operate on the person the next day. Perhaps a bit like the Borg on Star Trek, computers will have shrunk so small they could drive electric eyes or ears. You'll even send computers on a fantastic voyage. We stand in the middle of infinity between outer and inner space. The type of thing that we can envision is very small sensors that are essentially injectable that would uh, travel through your bloodstream, locate some type of a problem with your body, and then perhaps even send a signal out to a doctor saying, you know, hey, I found a problem here. You'll eat cholesterol-free steak, vitamin-enriched ice cream, 
Nutraceuticals, they're called. Food that keeps you healthy. You will be able to constantly monitor your body. Already designers have rolled out this home diagnostic unit that sends data to your doctor's office. In 2020, it'll be something you wear. We'll have in our clothes these little sensors that will get all the information and we'll be sending it constantly to some database. And since we're already on the verge of deciphering the entire human gene structure, by 2020, doctors may be able to predict many health risks and use gene therapy to stop disease before it starts. Time for a reality check. If we do live so much longer, how will we finance those years? A third of baby boom households have saved less than $1,000 today. So you may have to work decades longer than you thought. Or rich people might buy immortality using the latest medical techniques, while the rest of us find life extension too costly. Or the Bay Area could turn into a Jurassic Park full of selfish, aging dinosaurs who give nothing back. The one path is long-lived people, interesting, contributing, productive, wise, physically vital, the Bay Area being the mecca of such a, a new generation of age power. But the negative image could be that we all remain self-centered and we're only concerned for ourselves and we don't give a hoot about the young people and we take all the deals and discounts and resources we can and basically destroy the community. Well, mankind has sought out the fountain of youth for centuries, so it can't help but capture the imagination to think we may find it by 2020. But if we do, we'll face a host of new, complex social challenges. Tonight at 11, hear about some far-out applications of medical technology, from hacking molecules to robotic surgery. And you can read and discuss life in the future on sfgate.com. Today's featured article, Pets in 2000. And tomorrow, right here at 6, we'll show you how computers will be everywhere, from your home to your clothes. They may even come alive.